If you've ever been into any of the 60 Mile stores, you will know that the brand messaging relating to range, service and price is at best misleading. Maya and its dreadful performance over recent years is living proof that you don't build a great brand through advertising and staff costs. The world's fifth largest fashion brand, Zara on the other hand, is altogether different. Zara has 1,400 stores, no advertising budget, and reports an annual profit in the region of 3 billion euro. A superior customer experience means that Zara doesn't need an advertising budget. Zara prioritises culture over advertising. It is one thing to tell people in advertising what your brand is. That's easy. It is quite another thing to deliver on the promise and actually bring the brand to life. That's hard. Focusing on culture can certainly be cheaper than focusing on advertising, but it's always harder. That's why only great brands like Zara and Ikea tend to do it. The brand of a great business is rarely built through advertising or commercial communication. While communication might be involved, great brands are a reflection of the culture within the organisation and the resulting capacity of the people to create a customer experience that delivers the brand promise. Sustainable brands are the outcome of a focus on culture. Great brands are not the result of spruiking, but rather the consistent behaviour of the team within the organisation. To appreciate this, one need only consider Apple and how the in-store experience supports the Apple brand and Telstra, where the in-store experience does anything but support the Telstra brand. Apple certainly advertises, but its priority from day one has been culture. As far as I can see, Telstra doesn't worry much at all about culture and almost relies on advertising alone. Brand and culture are on a continuum. The brand determines the culture required, whilst the culture delivers the brand. Branding is not, or at least should not be, the task of advertising agencies. Branding should involve a collaboration between strategic marketers and human resource specialists. Marketers work with the targeted audience to determine what they will respond to and how the brand should be packaged, whilst human resource specialists select the right people and create the environment that can create the culture that will deliver the brand. Such a collaboration delivers superior outcomes at a substantially lower cost. Embrace the brand culture continuum and build your brand from the inside out, leveraging marketing strategy and human resource expertise. For more information on this subject, visit www.djohncarlsonesq.com. That's www.djohncarlsonesq.com.